It just feels so relaxing. I know. It really feels like yesterday like we got attacked by a land of whatever that was. Hey, that's a little bad. We don't talk about that. It happened last year. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Hmm. It's too peaceful. Yeah, where's Mr. Galaxy? <laughs> what the? What is that? What is that? What is that? Forget about the bike, it's time for me to go record DLC episode 1! Season 2 starts now! Yes! <laughs> I have no idea, why are you laughing? My Otomodachis! It is release date of DLC! <laughs> so you destroy the studio for a gag? <laughs> Forget about the bike, it's just cool. Come on, 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 I just opened up the game, what's going on? Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It is a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it, Mr. Galaxy? Because of your efforts, your name was chosen to attend. Oh, sweet! You get to study and experience the great outdoors off to the east in the land of Katakami. It is a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students at this. Yeah, that's great, Jack. Bye. Wait, aren't you going to update System.ex? What's going on, Team Shao? It's your favorite Galaxy Cat, Mr. Galaxy, back again with another video, and welcome to Season 2 of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We gotta practice next time, right on. This has been a long time coming for me, and I am extremely excited to record more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for you. But for those of you who don't know what happened in the finale of Season 1, then go watch the finale of Season 1. If you guys enjoyed this video and you're excited for more Pokemon Season 2, let me know in the comments below by saying the like button to another mention. Thanks, guys, and enjoy the video. Hello, who are you? Hmm? Are you? Oh, you must be. You're one of the students that was chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... Uh, it's Mr. Galaxy, ma'am. Well, aren't you a polite one? You're positively dazzling. What are your eeries? They look like the terrestrialization crystal. Miss Blah! I'm so sorry I'm late! Oh, and hello to you too, Mr. Galaxy. What a lucky scam you are to take- I'm not updating system.exe. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got carried away again. It's been such a long time since system.exe was up- You're up to date. What? You never had needed an update. You're up to date. Anyways, uh, I'm Miss Blair. You're going to the Blueberry Academy. Wait, blueberries? Forget about that. Time for you to have a system update. <laughs> Your Mr. Chuck is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. Although, I wish he would stop talking about updates. I mean, he thinks he's a robot. Wait, he's not a robot? Let's just ignore that and just hop on right on. Do you know the Violet book? I know of it. I think it's still in the time machine downstairs. Wait, what? Well, that's impossible. It's right here. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Take a look inside. A disc Pokemon? While I was separated from the research team in the depths of the crater, I found a strange entity. Whatever it was, Pokemon, or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons, and it gleamed brighter than a gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it may resemble a mysterious, brilliant disc. I have decided to name this creature Terapagus. I suspect that this very body shape is made up of the key that causes Pokemon to terrestrialize. Pokemon scripted on these pages called Terapagus. It's a mysterious Pokemon that he originally encountered when divided further into the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed him. Anyways, it's pretty cool, right? Uh, yeah. C can I go to the to the place now? Yo, oh, is that a dragonite? Welcome to the land of Katakami.
I mean, it kind of looks like Paldea a bit, but hey, at least it's slightly more visually interesting with the fog in the background. Yo, is that Sawato? I haven't seen Sawato in years. Kill it. Ah, nostalgia. Where are we anyways? Swirls almighty, we're in an entirely new area. So this area is not the first part of the DLC. Then where are we? Are we in like, is this Pokemon foreshadowing another new area? That the, Is this like half or a quarter of like a future Pokemon map? Because if so, that would just be awesome. I wish it was, because most likely it's not. But hey, it's still pretty cool in my eyes. You know, with a road like this, I might as well make a Kamen Rider reference. Shit, I do show. Oh. Lighter, lighter. Sayonara ability to climb. It's back to creative ways of trying to get up ledges for me. Yo, 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 what's up? It's me, Mr. Galaxy, here to record something crazy for y'all. Are you two gonna be part of my adventure? So, you're one of those students who came from the Paldea region, huh? Oh, wait, cool. Hush, Kieran. I am climbing. Sorry, but I can't just let an outside view wander to Mossai Town. Not without a battle, of course. Oh, come on, do you even know who this guy is? He's a legendary Pokemon trainer, Mr. Ga- I told you to hush! Just ignore my little brother here. I don't know, man, he's speaking some facts, but if that's how you want me to enter, then, then screw it, we'll battle. I'm gonna have some real good fun with you. Ooh, new battle theme! I like, I like! Welcome to Katakami. For your first experiment, get ready to eat dirt! Oh, yeah? What level is your Puchina, eh? Level 60? Hey, that's not bad. I think this DLC also scales up the Pokemon compared to what level you have, but, you know, limited by 60 and 70, because I know the last DLC did the same thing. I mean, could you imagine if the trainers that he was sent out, like, level 100 Vulpixes and stuff? That would be insane. It'd probably be one of the best Pokemon DLCs of all time. But no, that's not the case. We might need to catch a whole new team. Tell you what, I'm going to keep the Season 2 team for now, but next season, we're going to be catching a whole new set of Pokemon to call our own. <laughs> Holy swords, it's creepy! Did y'all see the, the release trailer for this new Pokemon? It was kind of cute, but scary at the same time. And also, um, yeah. One hit KO. <laughs> I've paid the toll, you troll. Can I enter your town now? You... Who are you? Well, says, you went and beat my sis? Like, you can't believe it! There's no way you should be able to beat me! Oh, what are you doing caution a ruckus out here? Tch, here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki, we're out of here. But, but uh, sorry, huge fan. Later, hater! I am so shy about those two. Oh my god, you're the old man! From generation one, yes. Do you like my glow up? Where's your beard? Well, 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 Nurse Joy is looking a bit different here. Not gonna lie, I kind of like this new style of Nurse Joy. It's not too different from the normal Nurse Joy, but it's just different enough to feel like it's its own breed. Like, we got ourselves a country Nurse Joy out here. How many Nurse Joys are out there that are country themed? I, I ask you this and you don't give me an answer. Oh yeah, it's because this is like a one-way conversation. Hi everyone, this is the community center. This is where you'll be staying, we're here in Katakami. The plan was to have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here all together, but it turns out this fish is gonna be all of you from the Yuva Academy. All right, you don't use Kamen Rider reference. No one needs Kamen Rider, we got Shiba Shentai. Come on, let's go. All right, we got ourselves a TV. And that's it. Thank you very much for having us, sir, for dealing with my bullshit. Wow, wow, what a bunch of well met wait bullshit. All right, let's cut the chat. I'm here for a festival. Where's the festival? What do you mean? I paid over one million how to buy a bike that a Super Sentai member had. Ooh, that's expensive. It was very worth it. I busted through a wall. It's like, I'll repair my studio later. That was kind of stupid. Shh. Where's my freaking festival? It's as a festival you want, it's a festival you'll get. Oh, finally! But you're gonna earn it, man. What the? Where did you? Oh, great! Just what I needed! A selfie stick! Bitch, uh, yeah. J just take it, he's way behind the time. Oh, now I can use my ride-ons. Oh, come on! How dare you, Marida, forcing me to make new friends! You're Mr. Galaxy or whatever, right? Let me guess. You were in Paris with one of us poor, lonely Blueberry students. 
Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I like your brother, he vibes with me. Gosh, it's so sweet of you to grab your way like that. What would we ever do without you? Oh yeah, so my little brother has been all googly out over you since yesterday. Would you stop, little sis? I'm your older sister, you moron! Look at him being all shy. Stop teasing him like that. Hey, bro, you can vibe with me or something, I guess? Uh, let's just get away from the Demon 2.0. What? Okay, that's it. Battle him, Kiki. Wait, what? Uh, man, show me what you got! Okay, here we go then. Ooh, hitting me with the Jojo feels. I think I'm liking this guy already. I'm also liking his battle theme. It's such a jam! But even with a cool still battle theme, I have to kill you at some point. Yama! That's gotta be a ghost type one, right? Eeny, meeny, money, you have dog type, let's go. Oh, I was thinking about your mask, not Yama. Oh, well. Blessing in disguise, I'm lucky I taught Demon at a mystical file. <laughs> I guess I got a lot of weaknesses. Look at that old man in the back who's like, yeah, go! I haven't seen a battle this cool since Generation 1! Wowzers, you sure are strong, Mr. Galaxy. You really aren't half bad, Kiki. You know, you're nearly as strong as I am. I don't know about that. You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. Wait, what? No, sis, don't! Don't what? It's not like we can pair up. We're, you know, hopping to a partner to partner with others and Shut up and pair with him. Aw, oh, man. And hey, no problem, I'll make sure he's safe, okay? And if anything happens to him, I'll come after you next. I feel like I should be scared for my life. Okay, everybody, time to go! Ooh! Old-fashioned Pokemon! I haven't seen one of those in years! Not since Pokemon Diamond and Pearl! Swells! Don't... Well, I wouldn't say pulling the stars with this DLC because we just started and who knows if this DLC is good or bad, but so far, I'm slightly impressed with what they're doing so far. Can we go now, Maridon? Thank you. Oh, sweet! We can involve an Applin now. Oh, sweet! We can evolve an Applin now! Wait, we got both evolutions back to back? <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but that sounds like a best match to me. <gasps> Cute! I shall catch you now and use you for my Season 3 team. What will I be naming her? Well, you're just gonna have to find out in Season 3. Hello, what are you? Oh, you're an Apple. Nice. It can terrestrialize. Nice. It's a bug. Let's kill it. Jesus, that's a lot of apples. Oh, finally. We get to make it here. What am I supposed to do now? You're supposed to take a selfie, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome Oni in the land of... Oh, wait, we're in this cell? Yes, yes we, we are. are. Now, shut up. The only made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the only came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. But, some stroke of luck, Okie dokie, Monkey Doki, and Fabadabi all appeared there as well. Three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the Oni and send it back to the battle. In admiration, the people of the village bestow upon these brave three of the title, the Loyal Dawn Three. Their remains were given a proper burial, and statues of the three Dawn Mothers were erected above this site. The Loyal Three Monuments is right over there. But don't you think the Oni in that folktale sounds kind of Cool. I mean, it sure does. Right? I know you get it, Mr. Galaxy. It was up against these three whole points at once, bound out by itself. Wowzers, it was so cool. Oh, oh uh, but I guess most people would just think it only like that is scary, huh? I, I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. Uh, yeah, we're supposed to take a photo of the signboard, right? So, l let's just do it. Nice. Wait a second, does this count as episode over? Sandwich. Oh god, what is that thing? Why does it look like a giant dick? Maybe relax, this is my ride, it's called Maridon. It, it's called Maridon? And you ride on it. I have never seen another Pokemon like this. And it's seriously... 
comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich? Yes. Yeah, it likes sandwiches. Ah, uh, that's weird. Alright, let's just go to the next sideboard before this thing eats me. Now, nah, what's it would do is lick you to death. To death? It's a figure of speech, man! Calm down, this dude is friendly! Nice job, you scared him off. Back in your ball you go. So these three must be the Dawn Brothers that they were talking about. I know they're called the, the Loyal Three, but you know. I bought the bike, I got the music, I might as well just bring this Sentai group to this Let's Play series. Alright, where's the next one? All the way over here? Perfect! Whoa, would you look at that! It's another potential Season 3 candidate. But since I don't know if I'm gonna add this one to the Season 3 team, eh, I'm just gonna let you know that I'm just gonna name this thing Live Evil, named after Kamen Rider Live and Kamen Rider Evil. Why am I naming this thing off of two writers? Because they're both technically the same writer? Just go watch Kamen Rider Vice if you don't know what I mean. And that's exactly why I named this thing Live Evil. Look, I don't know what other name you could give this thing aside from Live and Evil. It's literally a Kamen Rider reference before the Kamen Rider even existed. And we have arrived at Illuminati headquarters because everything's a freaking triangle. Oh, I think this might be where the festival is going to be held. Ready to read more stories? Yeah, let's go, man. The only possess four mysterious glimmering masks. This said that the painting of the mask the only dog. The power of its clear word exchange. Did you just have a stroke? Shut, Shut up! When wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back to the withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask... Blue? Nah, nah, nah. let's make it something special. SLAP! When wearing the aqua mask, it could stop the very flow of the river. When wearing an ash gray mask, it could easily break the hardest stone into the two. Before the Dawn Loyal Three, they were wrestled away by the three Oni masks, greatly weakening. The hell is that supposed to mean? Only one way to find out. Hey, I like that pose. This is giving me thumbnail material. I don't know what I should pick though. If you wanted, we could go see the Oni's home. Folks call it the dreaded dead. I wanna see it! I wanna see it! To the dreaded dead we go! At the door, to the dreaded dead we go! We're gonna see an Oni, even though it's called an org. But they're kind of the same thing, except one of them's a subspecies I get, but I don't care because Oni sounds cooler. Because I have PTSD for playing Terror Time and Yellow Yokai Watch games. Which. So if you ask me, the third one is the best version of Terror Time, the second one is success, the first one is alright, and they reboot the completely Yokai Watch 4 and Y Academy. Why would they do that to me? We have arrived at the destination. I think oh wait, there it is. Good evening. There it is. The dreaded den. This is supposed to be the Oni's home. At least that's what everyone says. I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. Maybe a powerful only like that will show up if it heard some kind of battle going on. Oh no. Oh boy, here we go again. We're about to perform a ritual. It evolved! And it's not strong enough to resist my hammer. Hey, yo, Masquerade, come on out, man. I mean, it's been a while since we last seen you use your signature move. Ah, never gets old. That was just one attack! Oh man, it did so much damage! Alright, Yama's up next. It's not Yama Ask, it's Yama. Yama. Yama Gas. Easy to remember because Yama Gas uses the Dragonfly Zord. And this thing is named Yama, which is based off a of Dragonfly. Okay, I can do this. That was easy. I knew it. You really are strong, Mr. Galaxy. How am I ever going to beat you? If the Oni saw that battle, I'm sure I'd be thinking that kid's got real strength. No, 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 Oni? No, 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 Oni. Okay, we're good. We're safe, everybody. Wait, what are we doing? No, we should not be going in here. I swear to God. We, we should, should not, not be going in here. Oh, hello, friend. Wow. It's a cave. Can we go now? Yo, when can I move into this place? I'm actually looking for a place to move. What are you, an idiot? Yes. Professionally trained, to be exact. So this is what it's like to feel disappointment. Oh, you know that festival thing you've been looking for? What about it? Wait, it's on right now? Yep, it's the first ones today. Ah, oh, sweet! Oi! 
Come on! I've been waiting for a festival all day! Get your ass up here, boy! The seller said it was large. The seller said it was large! Hey, Grant, do you know what my- Oh my god, what happened to you? Don't ask. I will change my hair back to normal next episode. Don't worry. This is just temporary because I'm sick and tired of wearing purple all the time. I need myself a mask. I need a mask to balance off all this cringe that I'm wearing. I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but... I just need myself a mask. Nope, mask is mine. Are you serious? Come out, don't look so glum. How about instead of a mask, I'll give you a... Fine. I just want a fucking cool mask. It's just, it's just, it's just mask is cool and, you know, it leads me back to my Phantom Thief thing. It's just give me a fucking mask already. How are you still alive? Is it about the mask? Come on, stop it with the super effective moves. I want my mask! You will give me that mask! I want that mask! She got to wear a mask year after year before I came here. How come I can't have one of these masks? Come on! Do I have to spend my own money? I mean, I'm rich as hell in this game, but still. I am going to beat you, and I am going to rip- WHAT?! It evolves. It evolves! Mmm, soup. I did not expect the regional fake to evolve at all. I mean, the previous evolution, you know, like the, the one from Gala, that one evolved, so... I should have expected this from a mile away, but I didn't, so... Hats off for you, Gay Freak, for holding this one's evolution back. Let me just... Mmm, delicious. Very spicy. I like. Well, that was a nice surprise. You know what? You could keep the mask for just that surprise alone. Oh, look at that little small boy. I haven't seen a Shawato evolution in a while. Die. I'm sorry, man. These are the rules. I don't make them up. Okay, can I have masks plus? Nah, I'm gonna take my mask. You motherfucker. Okay, those are actually some pretty cool masks. Wait until I get my own mask. It's okay, Miss Galaxy. You could just wear my mask. No, no, keep it. I'll get my own. And besides, yours is the only mask. You've always loved that mask. The yeah, yeah, keep it. I can't keep something that cool because that's sentimental to you. I'll just get my own mask. It's fine. I got cash. Just keep it. I can't take something that cool away from you. Astro, she was tearing the shit apart trying to find a third mask for you before you got here. Oh, but don't tell- Okay, shh. It'll be our little secret. Alright, it's time to head to the Festival of Masks. How did I clean all that up with a sword? Chaos! Chaos! Eh? Bye-bye! Can I help you? Alright, you've listened here. Do anything to my brother, and I'll rip your eyes out, shove them so far down your throat, you could see your own- And it's pronounced ogre, not Ani, you have boiled slime ball? God, you really are I'm stupid, in danger. are you? Do you guys remember that episode where I screwed up with Demon Etna and I forgot to hit record? What about the episode where, um, my catch card decided to say F you and decided to boost the audio to make it sound e rapey? Guess what happened again? Welcome back to season two of Pokemon Scarlet by In the last episode, we started off the DLC. But I will take an L on this one. This wasn't the capture card's fault. It was my fault. I was trying to teach a friend how to set up their capture card. And I forgot to remove something whenever doing a thing. But here's how the story went down. Finally a festival! Oh my swears, how is this extremely hard? <gasps> Friend! And I'll leave this next one unedited. Sorry for the boosted audio. Take the mask back. You shouldn't come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. What about that? It's adorable. Look at that face. No, come back, you wholesome bean. 
So now we have this mask in our inventory and we showed it to Gramps and he's all like, Oh my god, you got the only mask. Let me tell you a story. And here we are. I am so sorry that this happened again. This story has been passed down our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. And he learned it from his father. And he learned it from his father. And he learned it from his father. And he learned it to fucking point! It is a story of truth. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of this to others. Uh, okay. But that sounds kind of stupid, don't you think? If it's a true story, we should tell- You must never speak of this to others! Now then, story time. Long, long time ago, a man in an oni came to Katakami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the oni who looked so different from them. And so, they refused to let travelers come anywhere near the village. The man and the oni were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. They were just happy to have each other, so they settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man in the Oni. The masks were brilliant works adorned with gems that the man brought from somewhere far away. Wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the Oni were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the mask, the man and the Oni started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pairs soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, each to distant lands. But rumors of exquisite, shiny masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A greedy group of Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Katakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave the man and the only lived and tried to make off with a mask which they carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. Their Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, the Oni returned to the cave. It found its beloved home in ruin, and all that was left were sides of a struggle and a teal mask. The Oni donned the mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for his friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, glorying over their story mask, and defeated them. Villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. And they saw the raging Oni and felt great fear. Villagers saw the three Pokemon had tried falling, protecting the village from the Oni. To honor the sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three of Dawn and intend to care of them. Wounded and weak, the only returned to its cave, alone with great sharpness. Well, so... The Loyal Three of Dawn are evil! Ogapon didn't deserve that, and the Loyal Three of Dawn- uh, They're the worst! The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. It's a lie! They've gotta hear about it!
about this? Calm yourself, Carmen. I told you to keep it to yourself, you crazy bitch. But Grandpa! The Veld just believed their own version of the story. They reveal their loyal three dawn. So how will they react being told that they got all wrong? They probably get angry, right? Exactly. Back when it was all first occurred, the matchmaker, let's say, to our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. He first died. Oh my swells. Oh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the matchmaker chose to protect us, the descendants, by keeping his mouth shut. After he was turned to a corpse, of course. So he kept the truth hidden and only told us in the family. So yeah, don't tell the villagers or you'll fucking die. That's a bit overboard, don't you think? You'll die! Now I really can't tell Kiki we met the Oni. About that mask you showed me. I noticed the drew on his forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You go ahead and fix it. Maybe you got chipped when you found on the stairs. In the meantime, let's go find Oroha. No we'll make her our Oni sister. Mm. That's an Oni sister. Ah, uh, yeah, you gotta watch Don Brothers. Yo, man, you wanna continue the tour thing before I gotta go do a thing? What were you two talking about? Nothing much, really. Just this and that. Memes, videos, let's plays, all that stuff. You know, just the usual stuff. Just talk about my YouTube channel. Okay, we got one more sign to take a selfie at, so let's go. Alright, man, I'll see you there. <sighs> Why? Why'd you lie to me? Why do I get the feeling that I just made a powerful enemy today? Well, 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 it seems that Area Zero has leaked all the way over here. There's gotta be some lore reasons why it's over here. Like, I've never seen the terrestrialization get this bad outside of Area Zero. Also, say goodbye to frame rates. Oh my god, this water section sucks. I- Oh god, my brain cells are decaying. Oh, never mind, it's good again. Oh, swells. Finally. Why is there a random sign out in the middle of nowhere? Pretty lonely place, huh? According to the old legend, you only used to be seen around here a lot. Hey, before you check out side, could- Yeah, let's battle, let's go. This time, I'll win. If you really think you'll win, hit me with your best shot. That thing has not evolved yet. Therefore, I sentence it to death. Polywrath, okay. In that case, Masquerade, get on out here. You know what to do. It's a classic for a reason. <sighs> I should have thought things through. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. I right, come back. It's time for Wally to take another W in this season. Come on, Wally. Let's go, Wally. Come on. Boom. One shot this thing. Sorry for it. You're just going to have to keep walking until the next game. Oh, he got it. Diplin? Isn't that that new dragon type Pokemon? Why? Why does it have to be like this? Why? What are you talking about, man? Are you okay? Are you upset that I have a shiny and you don't? Because I heard it's pretty easy getting a shiny Diplin. No, I'm not gonna be trying that. Don't ask me. Okay, maybe for a live stream, I might. Break it, spin it! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Maybe you should try next time, man. I lost. It's because I'm weak. That's why I. Hey, are you okay? Let's take the damn photo. Story time. If you, you see, see a shadowy figure, figure approaching, approaching you outside, outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and whether the shadow is a man or a monster, you will pass each other as fellow mask wearers. How fitting, it's raining. It's perfect timing, actually. If you should meet the shadow and you have no mask in hand, and pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day. And you will never, to never forget your master again. But if it's the only, you will meet your end. As do all human whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, the soul will be forfeit. And you shall never return to the village ever again. Jeez, it's kind of dark. I mean, not as dark as straight up confirming death is a thing in Pokemon Legends Odyssey, but still. My family has a long line of mask makers. Even my gramps can make them. I even heard that the reason we hold the festival of masks is because of our ancestors came up with the idea. But I really don't like what they wrote on this sign here. Just because the Oni seems sort of scary, everyone got afraid of it and drove it away from the village. But... 
I'm pretty sure the ogre's been lonely on its own, left alone all like that. Treated like some kind of outcast. <sighs> Sorry, man. Try keeping this hidden from you. But we had to be reviewed eventually. Wanna take the last photo? Yeah, let's just take the last photo. Hey, man, um... Something's a bit off about you. You're kind of giving me that, uh... Evil vibe, you know what I mean? I gotta get strong with my Pokemon. I'm gonna go head home. Oh, okay. Bye. Ah, oh, that was certainly fun, but it's time for me to take a napper. The next day. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> that walk cycle. <laughs> Look at me, they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be the star of this episode. I'm about to steal his channel. Get out of my face, NPC. Yo, Gramps, you got that mask fixed? I wanted to fix the Ogre Pond's mask, watch. I need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah. According to Grandpa, we're gonna need a crystal cluster for- So, the crystal area! Ah! I- I was just there like literally five minutes ago. Okay. Well, let's go over there and get the- what we need and 100% fix the max. Morning, Grandpa. You better go somewhere to kill some time- Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. Excuse me? I don't need that kind of attitude coming from you. Why are you just going into this boy? Oh no, I think he might know. Well, whether he knows or not, that doesn't change the fact that we still gotta fix that mask, so off to the pond we go, could you not? Oh, it's the teacup! Get in the bar! Get in the bar! Get in the freaking bar! Come on! Finally! Mmm, soup. How is it possible that on my own, when I wasn't looking for this thing, I found this thing easily? But now that I'm actively searching for it, it took me like 10 minutes to look for. Hey, you are, Mr. Galaxy. Come get a look at this view. Yeah, I was here earlier. I know. It's it's weird that there's terrestrialization crystals over here. Let's just get the cluster and get out of here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What the? An earthquake? What's happening? My Lodic? What the hell? Oh, my spells, it's smoking weed. I'm gonna play it safe, switch it to prototype, use Leaf Blade, and hopefully hit this thing in one move. Oh, my swells, an NPC doing more damage than me? That's a first. Okay, well, I gotta take the spotlight back. Sorry, man. You tried your best and you almost succeeded, but my Pokemon's level 100. Oh, look, there's the cluster we're looking for. Now we can fix the mask. Crystal Cluster. I could take this back to Paldea and research it more. Nah, I'm too lazy. Miss Blit, what, what the swords, where you come from? Oh, just doing a bit of field research. Oh, it's interesting, the properties of the water here. And, well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pool water emits the same wavelength as terrestrial energy. So that's why the Mylark looked like it was on weed. It was on some hashtag hashtag crystal gang weed. Do you have a speech impediment? No, I'm just an idiot. Professionally trained? Professionally trained! Oi! Gramps! I got the crystal! Let's go restore this mask to maximum efficiency! I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran. He... He ran off with the mash. Uh-oh. Did you tell him about the org or something? I had... I had... I, I, I would never say such a thing. Not a thing! He found out, you idiot! He was listening to our conversation! GET THAT MOSH BUCK RIGHT NOW OR YOU'RE GROUNDED! BOTH OF YOU! Have fun with that! I ain't gonna get grounded again! I'm way too old for that! Oi! Hey! Asshole! What the hell are you doing? Mr. Galaxy... KK, what in the world do you think you're doing? You too knew, didn't you? You knew that the Oni wasn't the real bad guys in the story. A loyal three dawn with the real bad guys. But the Oni is the last one that gets treated like an outcast. You. Of course you knew. And you two did the same thing to me. You treated me like an outcast. You waited and, uh, and met the Oni. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Silence, fool! You're no different from those villagers back then. You know how much I love the Oni. You had to like, you didn't know anything. 
But you were laughing at me behind my back all along. That's not what happened at all. Yeah, man, can we just calm down a bit here? Liar, liar, liar! What got into you, Kiki? You're acting real off today. Mr. Galaxy, battle me. If you win, I'll give you back the mask. So come on, battle me already. You sure, man? You're not really in the state. Do I look like I'm fine? I am fine! This is the face of a happy person. Jesus Christ, he's stumbling on his words. So don't be wrong with this man. Oh my swirls, he got so angry, the Yama evolved. Too bad it's still weak as hell. Gligo, that's a new Pokemon. That's gotta be uh, the Gliscor pre evolution, if I'm correct. Okay, Lupin Green, no, you, your name's Masquerade. Just just come out and do the thing. No music this time. The jukebox broke. We're gonna have to fix it next time. It's still um, the same effect, though, so. You're like a hero in a story. I mean, obviously, I'm the protagonist. I got plot armor on me, bitch. Choosing another water type, I see. Just because it's half flying doesn't mean I am not gonna lose this thing. Like so, it is dead. Are you seriously just sending me sacrifices? It's like you're trying to resurrect dead Pokemon or so- 71! Okay, this DLC is actually getting challenging. Is what I would say if they didn't send me easy bait to murder. I can come back from this. I got this. I got this! Seriously? Diplin? Um... You know how this is gonna go, right? Okay, not bad, actually. That's not the punchline I was going with, but hey, it's something. Well, I guess I gotta keep breaking your spirit. Is this what's making you edgy? I use spirit break on him so many times, he's starting to become edgy. What have I done? Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, 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 man, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Give me give me the mask. Give me give me give give the mask to me. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Gimme. Give you don't know what kind of mouse you can unleash. Thank you. Now, we should be fine. We should be all Gucci, since I don't think he spawned enough mouse to revive beans of hatred. I think we're safe. We are a thousand percent safe. Oh, come on! Oh no! I oh, know! No! no. Oh, 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 oh. We. It, that was a dynamax. So! Uh oh. Oh no! The Royal Dawn 3! I mean, the Royal 3 Dawn! They have come back to kill us all! What in the world?! <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want? Why do you have your own voices?! <laughs> what the hell are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute, where are you guys going? Come back! Come back! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> that's that's uh that that is not oh we just screwed the village, didn't we? Come on, Mr. Galaxy, we gotta go after them. Agreed. We have to stop them right here and right now. <laughs> and then I said ghost. I thought you said toast. D d do you get it? Cause ghost and Toast, they, they rhymed and, and, wh where, where are you going? Come back. I didn't have time to record a beginning skit. Hey, uh, guys, do you know where the Loyal Three of Dawn were? The Loyal Three of Dawn? Oh, yes. They were just here not that long ago. We gave them tons of food. You fed them? Of course we did. We even gave them some of our great mochi. You gave them the masks? You guys are idiots. Where are they right now? Perhaps I just tried to finish off that terrible Oni that lurks within the dread den. Oh, no. If the story we heard was true, then those three must have get revenge on 
on Ogopon. They say that the Ogre fought used the power of its mask, but Ogopon doesn't have any of its masks right now, right? It won't stand a chance. And we gotta return its mask right now. Here, take the crystal to the dude. Go to the house right now. I'll meet you up at the dread den. Hang on, Oni sister. We're coming for you. Don't worry. We will help you. We will save you. And were those trees from freaking Paper Mario? Algapon! Oh no, not the loyalty of Dawn! <laughs> <laughs> Get away from that wholesome bean! <laughs> what, where are they where are they playing? What are you guys? <laughs> um, hey, um, hey! Eyes on me, Bubble Yum! Oh! Okay. So the monkey's going after me first. Alright, bet. Let's go. Yo, is this a battle theme? Hey, this battle theme's a bop! Level 70? Holy swells! These are some strong zombies, not gonna lie! And they're almost dead! Ha <laughs> Take that, you filthy animal! Really? Future Sight? You do realize that you are going to die right now, right? Wow, um... That was, uh... That was kind of easy. These guys were built to be a threat, and now he's dead. <laughs> oh, hey! He's getting back up! What the hell?! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all gonna fight them at the same time? Knock it off, all of you! Oh, hey there, Carmine, what's up? We'll make you regret ever coming back to life. Wait, <laughs> 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 wait, wait, come back here, you cowards! <laughs> I guess I'm just too much for them to handle. Mr. Galaxy, I, uh... Go on, say it properly. Uh, about the mask. I got so angry and what I did was really dumb. Like, like really dumb. Like, like really, I know. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, man, for keeping this secret from you. Thanks, Mr. Galaxy. He was soaking around so I grabbed him by the collar and dragged him here. And well, I'm glad I did. Aw, oh, look at the wholesome meat. How you doing, little buddy? How are you doing? It's really you, the real life Oni. How's this? You really are something. You want to be the one to get the mask back to Ogopon, right, Kiki? This is for you, do you, Ogi? It seems scared. Maybe because I'm not good with new people, Kiki. Uh, I don't think you'll take the mask if I'm the one giving it back. You should be wanting to do it, Mr. Gal- Alright! I'll give it a go. Here you go, Ogopon. Aw, oh, look at the wholesome beat. It's ready for battle now. It's ready for combat. It's ready to, to rotate some nips. <laughs> it seems so happy. It seems pretty comfortable around you, Mr. Galaxy. <sighs> It'd be nice if we could give the other three's mask back to Ogopon, don't you think? You know what? Let's do it! Let's fight these three and take down them. Put them back in the grave and bring this wholesome being its mats back. <laughs> we got the bean following us. Let's go. All right, follow me a little bit. Yay. Yay. Wait, let me just bring our tank of tongue. There we go. Yay. Yay. Oh, this is yay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, keep up, Chopscotch. Okay, so I got a plan to search for the man. You guys, just go ahead and, you know, get the masks and stuff. Wait, we already did that. What the hell am I talking about? We do. What the hell are you talking about? This is real life. Okay, you know what? Screw you. I'm just going to ask myself. You. Yeah. I'm going to do it in the most normal and classic way possible. By being f annoying. Now you stay here, be a good bean, and stay out of trouble, okay? Atta girl. I can't even tell if it's a boy or a dude. I think people have been saying it's a female. Alright, now to activate my totally legit and normal plan. Would anyone like some soup? Would anyone like some soup? Would anyone like some soup? 
Would anyone like some soup? Would you like some soup, ma'am? Ma'am, would you, would you like some soup? No, ma'am, come back. Excuse me, ma'am, or woman, or in between. Would you like some soup? Do you want 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 some soup? Oh my god, he really is annoying. I can't believe you watched this guy on YouTube. Well, it wasn't easy, and I'm pretty sure I'm banned in this town now, but at least I know the information with the Loyal Three of Don are. Now, let's go get the mask back. What do you mean you're not going? As long as Mr. Galaxy's around, I'm sure Ogopon will be safe. Since I got things to do. Sorry! That face. That face Ogopon's making. I'm making that the thumbnail of today's video. The thumbnail has been spotted. Even she's happy about it. I think this thing's a girl. This thing better be a female. Because the internet's saying it's a female. I don't know because I have not checked anything yet. I don't, you know, the thing. I have no idea if it's a female or not, but I think it might be a female. It's adorable, it's cute, but it's too cute to be gender neutral. Not pulling the pan on that grenade, so let's just go after the monkey first. And here we have a wild crackhead and its natural habitat. Notice that it's waiting for the local drug dealer to come up to it so it can buy some weed. Let's observe the wild crackhead up close. I just realized I have made a grave mistake. Hey, I may be wrong about this, but has it gotten bigger than when we last saw it? <laughs> oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> don't, don't you speak with me like that. I don't know why you guys are the only ones with Pokemon voice lines that sound similar to mine, but I'm gonna beat you down and beat you down and never let up. That's my voice, and you're not allowed to have it. <laughs> 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 oh, that's kind of creepy. So we're gonna fight them like a Titan Pokemon. Okay, it's, okay, so... I'm gonna assume this is gonna be like the first phase. We fight them and then, you know, he shrinks and he runs away. We gotta fight him again. I wonder if it'll go all red in the face if we give it a good touch. Shut up! Bulldozer time! Holy swell! That did nothing! It did nothing! You big. Hey, I'm supposed to keep this show entertaining, okay? How the hell did that more Pico do more damage than me? <laughs> Take that. This is what we call IV trading. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, this is what I call screw off. This is my show, not yours. Is your name Mr. Galaxy? Nah. It's Carmine, I think. It's been a while since I read your dialogue. But hey, I'm just gonna use Gigaton Hammer. No, I don't want it to rationalize. I'm just gonna use Gigaton Hammer. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play whack a ball with this thing. Please kill it, Chopscotch. Chopscotch, how could you? Chopscotch, we can't let this thing steal the show. Kill it, kill it, kill it. You're supposed to kill the monkey as well. My swear. Chopscotch. Uh, uh. Hey, this thing is almost dead, so I'm not complaining that much, but I think I should take IV trains a lot more seriously. Mmm, soup. Thank you, Chopscotch. We are once again the stars of the show. <laughs> hey, go back to normal. Get out of here, you punk. Where's the mask? Ooh, very pretty. I love it. It's cute. Okay, can we on? Ah, oh, that's cute. And you'll see that mask is me while I'm editing a YouTube video. One mask down, two to go. And next one is Pheasantipity. Apparently, I said its name wrong in the last episode. Oh, I pray that we don't have to fight it here because the frame rate's in this thing. Oh, actually, he's got. Nope, never mind. I take back what I was about to say. The frame rate in this area sucks. Major bum. Like, Game Freak, come on, we get it, you're not gonna optimizing shit! Dun 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 There's the bird that's flapping at like two frames per second. What's up, motherfuck? Um, I, I mean, uh, beautiful lady. Bird up. Did it just... Bird up on me? Did it just steal my voice, bird up, and just ran the hell away from me? That's it! There's nothing else we can do! Sorry, Uncle Paul, you're on your own! Hey, if you guys can hear me, this is not a bit. I actually.
accidentally locked myself out of the studio. Finally, thanks to Mitchie for the help. Are you asleep? Oi, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Come on, we gotta go get your mask. There you go, come on, let's go. What are you guys watching for? Hey, go away. Where did I just throw my Pokemon to? Geo, dude, get out of my way. I got masks to get. Show's over. Come on. I hope you enjoy me standing idle for like 12 freaking hours. Get out of my way. I gotta go get a mask. So, Monkey Joy didn't have a face, too. So, I'm just gonna assume that the rest of these guys don't have a face, too. You just fight them once and you get the mask back and maybe they'll come back for one last round but under that i think this is gonna be the closest we're gonna get to the titans running away like yokai watch blasto bosses i do like this cave though it's gotta be the one of the most well put together caves i've ever seen in this game <gasps> the good boy i'm not gonna catch his quags out he's just vibing relaxing have a good time i'm not gonna be the one to ruin it i am very sorry for coming in on you sir have a good day now if i know pokemon and i do know pokemon and looking at the map, this hole has to be where Fezendipity's at. Well, looky, 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 it's a bird that's gone up. No, 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 stop it. We gotta continue on with this episode. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. We gotta cut that off, man. We gotta keep going on this episode because I'm here to get the mask back. And there's no way I'm gonna let you keep it. <laughs> oh, goodbye. We'll get the mask back. And there's nothing you can do to get it. <laughs> I think I wore that wrong. I know we're enemies, but his face is so pretty. Does it remind you of me a little? No. Wait, actually, kind of. Because both of you look completely evil. Oh, my swells. We're finally putting some damage. Hey! Oh, look at Ogopon in the background vibe. He's like, yeah, you guys got this. Go, go, go. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but in between episodes two and three, I've changed the movesets of some Pokemon. Not all of them. I was trying to do the Mewtwo event, but obviously, since I didn't post it on Twitter, was it now known nowadays, X, uh, I didn't win. I tried like a few more times, but yeah. <laughs> that Mewtwo is too unstoppable. But I, I, I'm, I'm going to I'll proudly take the L. I chip damage it a bit, so that's that's a W in my book. Speaking of W, let's go take down this bird. Thank you for more Pekka for getting you to where we need to at and at 1 HP my add you. So BOOM! How are you still alive? Hey, take a W, Opeko, take a W. Okay, you're gonna send another doggle? Well, you're not gonna need it. You wanna know why? Because I'm gonna scratch this thing to death. Just like Okay, thank you for bringing out the doggo. Just kill it already! Thank you! Oh my swells! So mighty! Why are these Pokemon so hard to kill? Get out of here! We don't need your burn up memes anymore! You never stood a Exactly, she never stood a chance. Hi, right, let's go get that mask back. Ooh, that's a nice looking mask. Aw, oh, look at its face! It's so Cute! Why are the village afraid of this thing? Are they afraid of a wholesome bean? Is it because it's wearing a hoodie? Hell if I know! Well, we got one more, and that's the doggo. So let's go take out this Inu brother. Here it is, the big dog. <laughs> I don't like the way he whips that chain around. Oh lord, he coming! Oh lord, he coming! Oh lord, he coming! Oh lord, he coming indeed! Oh lord, he coming! Oh lord, he coming! Oh lord, he really is coming! Oh god, you're coming! Okay, let's just take this down before anyone else comes nearby. If I have to get a guess, I think this thing has to be a dark type. I mean, it may be because of the zombified look, but I'm getting heavy dark type vibes, so maybe Chopscotch might win against this more trading kiss? Maybe? Yes? No? Let's find out. Come on, please. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna finish off this meme myself. Let your Leo have the last attack. Okay. No. I'm the Emperor of Team Shadow. You don't rule for me. Bitch. See? This time your Pokemon's barely do damage to it like me. But unlike you, I have a move that would do 10 times damage more than normal. It's called Gigaton Hammer. Oddly satisfying. Even though it barely did any damage. I am switching out. Huh? 
Oh, what's happening? Oh! Thank you, Ogopon! You really are a great bean! Don't worry, my friend. I won't let these stat buffs go to waste. I'll just... Draining kiss, restore my HP, and then we'll be back in the green. We're still in the yellow, but I'll still take that much. Hey, stop hurting Chopscotch, you big old meanie! At least his defense and special defense is falling like hell, so... Maybe a Gigaton Hammer will actually Oko him. Oh yeah, look at that. Defense down, special defense way down. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's not... Where did you get a berry? Oh, no! Oh, no, Harry. That is not the good Harry. Oh, no! <laughs> Chopscotch, you have to kiss this saint to death. Come on, Chopscotch. You can do it. Mwah! Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> Good God, good, yes, we did it, we did it. We got the mess back. Down, doggy. Down, doggy. That's right, down, dog. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Yes. <laughs> Someone lock this thing up in a leash. And there it is. We got the last mess back. Ooh, it's the one used in the legend. Congratulations, Ogopon, and good work, Mr. Galaxy. We got all the masks. Victory photo with all some bean has all of the masks back. Yay! We did it! Ah, <sighs> thank goodness. It all worked out right in the end. Right, Ogopon? Um, guys? Yo, what's up? Well, uh, I, I, I wanted to ask a favor. I want you to come to the village and, and bring the Oni with you. Are you, are you sure it's safe? They kind of hate this wholesome bean. Trust me. It'll be okay. I promise. Alright. If you say so. Come on, Ogopon. Let's head back to the village. Yo, ho, 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 ho. I, I don't know. I, I, had a, I had a bit going, but I lost the song. Oh, no. Don't tell me you're scared. Come on. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Come on. It'll be fine. I Don't worry. I, I got your back. I got me a Paradox Pokemon. If anyone tries to kill you, I'll kill them first. There we go. Yo, what's up? This is the Oni. So that's the Oni. Ogapon. It's actually real. Of course it is. Don't, don't be, don't be scared. Come on, show that smile. Don't worry. It's just the true face of Ogapon, whom we so long. For far too long, we have told tales, casting you as the villain here in Katakami. We owe you a great apology. That's very big of the town. Oh, look at it! Ah! It's so freaking cute! It's just so freaking cute! Kieran told us what's really been going on here. The lousy three of dawn. They were the ones who caused Ogopon trouble. It's so freaking cute! Oh my god, it's so cute! Could you not? But Ogopon is so cute! That's my dialogue right there! Because. Can we come back to the wholesome bean? I want to see the wholesome bean. Look! It's so cute! I want to get a plushie of this. With or without the mask. I want there to be a plushie with removable masks. It's just so cute. How, how could I not? How could I not? When this thing is so freaking cute. The three in March, we kept the Katakami Hall. Rightfully belong to you all. If you manage to get them back from those three villains, Please feel welcome to keep them. We got the mask back and we managed to clear Ogopon's name. Now this is what I call a happy ending. Agreed. Just look at that happy face. Let's go bring it back home now that it's a happy host bean. Back at the beginning once more. It was a fun adventure with you, little bean. But now that we cleared your name, it's time for you to go back in your cave. And for me to get my normal hairstyle back. It's a bit lonely out here, but... I guess this place is made a lot for Ogopon. Alright, take care, okay, Ogopon? What? What's up? Do you, you want to join my team? Hey, you know what? I think Ogopon. Yes! 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 
Hey, hold up! Eh? If it's not gonna stay here, then I... I wanna... I want Ogopon to come with me! Kiki... I know I'm being real selfish, but Mr. Galaxy, please! Let me bow you! I want to see which one of us should keep Ogopon with them! Uh... Yeah. Ogopon chose me. There's no way in hell I'm taking that away from me. It freely chose me. If it chose you, hey, that would have been cool. But it clearly chose me. I'm not gonna force it to go with you. So I am going to beat your ass. <laughs> Bring it on. I want to battle anyways. All right, bet. Oh, it's so perfect now that it's raining. <laughs> What a perfect final battle scene. All right, let's do this. You better bring out your best, Kiki. <laughs> well then, let's get started. Whoever wins. It's to be Ogopon's partner. So, don't. <laughs> don't you dare hold back. Same goes to you. Oh! New battle theme! This dude is serious! Look at that menacing stare in his eyes! Oh, a shift rate! Oh, he's being serious! He's bringing out the Tengu! I know you're probably better trainer for Ogopon, but I. I, you, you what? You like this wholesome beam? I like it cute, but it clearly chose me, so I am going to give it what it wants. Level 70 and, and thick out. This dude is not going to pull any punches, man. I may be level 100, but you saw what them dogs did to me. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I forgot. I'm level 100. I should be worried about nothing. <laughs> Get out of here. You know what, Masquerade, why don't you come on out? We need to set up something very important for the rest of this fight so it can go into our favor. I just want to push out all these toxic spikes all over the battlefield. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. If I'm going to make this battle... <laughs> Get out of the Masquerade right now! Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Us, well... <laughs> While you go out there and fight him. Use the sacred sword. Yes, young Wally. Yes. No, young Wally. No. Psycho cut it, man! Yes! Yes, Lucky's it on my side, but it doesn't matter. I got this. What you got is this L I'm about to give you. Ya yeah, mega! Alright then, switch out! Prototype! Come on out here! Punch. Oh. It has glown. You're not holding back. Thank you. But I won't hold back either. <laughs> you say as your Yamega's Mega's being burned. Oh. <laughs> okay. He's come prepared. He's ready for Wi-Fi battles. But unfortunately for you, so am I. Probo pass. Um, I want to use more of my team because I don't want to just use the ones I just set out. So... Itty meeny miny you. We already know that Shadow Knight is the absolute GOAT. The most powerful thing on our team. It was the original unique terror type on our team, and now our whole team has a unique terror type. But what makes Shadow Knight just that much better is the fact that its stats are just completely busted now. See, look at that. It barely took any damage from that super effective move. Watch as we flare blitz it. If it doesn't die in this move, the burn will kill it. And that's a money back guarantee. Who wants the money back? Gimme! I got it! Okay! Okay. Who's the person who paid and sold? Jesus, for a level 100 team, he's giving my team a run for the money. Alright, Demon Etna, you're up next! Ha 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 ha! That was nice of me for setting those spikes. Now die, perish. I said perish. Are you confused with the concept of death, Polyrath? Oh. 
Well, alrighty then. Oh, oh. oh, for a second there, I thought we had to hit him for a third time. Oh, thank God we don't have to. And that just leaves him with one more Pokemon. Diplin. It's not over yet. I'm tired of losing! Give me that soul. <sighs> Your soul belongs to me now. Ow! Hey! Not cool, man! You know what, just for that? Take this Dragon Claw! Yeah. I was playing nice, but now you're pissing me off. Ogapon belongs to me now. Take the L. I knew it. I couldn't win. But I just couldn't give up. Hey man, um, it's, um, I'm, I'm starting to regret the things I said to him. I think it's time for you to catch Ogapon, Mr. Galaxy. Yeah. You ready? Because I know I am. Let's capture Ogopon. This is too important for me to do an intro. But it's time. You ready? Are you, uh... Oh, okay. Okay, now you're ready. It's time. I will prove my strength to you. Oh! It's... Well, it can change forms. That's so cool! Alright, let's go, Ogopon! You and me, right here, right now! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, that is so cool! Alright, we gotta strategize with this a bit. If Chopscott goes down, then I'm gonna have to switch into someone who's super effective against fire type moves. I think Chopscott is the only one that can beat fire type moves because I don't have any water type moves on me anymore. Jesus Christ, this thing hits like a truck! Okay, a new plan. I'm gonna switch into Shadow Knight. I'm gonna use Dragon Claw, and if this thing uses any fire type moves on me, then we'll just flash flare it up or whatever Shadow Knight's ability is. Oh, a, a, a grassy terrain? You're setting it up now? But you're about to- you're about to lose, Ogopon! It was- it was a great battle that you put up, but the fight has to end eventually, so Bush! Nice job, man. You- you did all you could, but- But I am the victor! Now get in the ball! Wait, what? It's- Oh, um, uh- Oh! Oh! We're gonna fight all of its masks! Is this the first time Pokemon's implemented multiple phases in one battle? Cause it's so- that's so cool! Wait, 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 let me think, let me think, let me think. We had, um, Eternatus. No. Mmm, the Professor to no, cause the second phase technically is like a victory lap. It doesn't mean it counts a battle. I mean, RCS technically counts, that one I'm going with, but that was a bit in, in a spin-off game, in a different style of battle. This has to be the first time Pokemon has used multiple faces in one- Wait, there's Volo, Volo- No, wait, technically that's two battles, but he uses seven Pokemon. Yeah, okay, that's it, this is the best Pokemon game of all time. Wait a second, I just realized this thing's a water type right now. We have to switch out. Masquerade, get out here right now! I fixed the jukebox, let's do the meme! You can't keep a good joke down. You really are good, Mr. Galaxy. I'm no match. Hey, why'd you pipe down over there, man? Come on, bring out the next mask. What do you got, eh? Ooh, the stone mask. This one looks cool. Oh my so <laughs> My man just literally said Ooga Booga and turned into a mask from Crash Bandicoot. My moves are still super effective, so this is either a ground type mask or a rock type mask. Well either way, do the meme again, masquerade. <laughs> That's it. Whip it out. Whip out your full strength. Your true power! Yeah! There we go! 
Here it comes, boys! Here it comes! <laughs> oh -ha! Nice! I love the terrestrialization force of this Pokemon. It's so freaking cool, and I'm, I'm gonna be sad when we bring this to another game and we can't terrestrialize it anymore. But the designs of the masks are pretty cool already. They went hard with this Pokemon. You can't catch it yet. You need to show Ogapon more what you can do. Uh, uh, duh. I'm not putting my Pokemon away. I gotta set out Prototype because he knows a Fire-type move. Uh, duh. Ow. Jeez. My soul. That may have been a critical hit, but even if it wasn't, it would still hurt a lot. Ow, my soul. Oh! You couldn't even let me throw one punch? Wally, your counterpart is dead. You have to fight this thing. Use your fire punch move right now, man. You got one shot of this. Come on. Wally, 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 Wally. Yeah! <laughs> From taking L's in season one to taking nothing but W's in season two, Wally has come a long way. But it's time. There's only one Pokeball that I can choose from here that would be perfect for Ogopon. And I can't think of a more special ball than this one. Join the team, Ogopon. Become a part of Team Shadow! <sighs> a wholesome bean is in our collection. And I am going to add it to our Season 3 team. You know what? I'm gonna do something very different. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. This thing is so cute. It's gonna break a long-running tradition on my YouTube channel. Well, not my YouTube channel, but me personally. I never name my legendaries. You can only get one of them in the game, after all. But, this thing is so cute. We're gonna name it for the first time. <gasps> I knew it! It is a female! The rumors were true! Well, considering that we've been making nothing but Don Bros references, there's only one name I can bestow upon this thing. Oni Sister! I'm gonna wait till next time. Because she'll appear in season three. I don't believe it. You actually caught it. <laughs> That's good for you, I guess. <laughs> Congratulations. I'll take good care of it for you, Kiki. Trust me on that. Yeah, sure. Why? Why can't it be like you, Mr. Galaxy? Uh, I feel like I've made a powerful enemy. Don't worry about him. He's the one who said the winner gets to become Ogopon's partner. Or, I guess we should call her Oni Sister now. Anyway, let's head home. Yeah, agreed. The next day. Well, I guess it's time to go home. Wait, already? Hey, um, uh, I think I'm going to be leaving now. If there's anything you want to say, you might as well speak now before you- I'm gone forever. Kiki has shut himself in this room for whatever reason ever since he got home yesterday. He won't come out? Oh, but you don't need to feel guilty or anything, Mr. Galaxy. It all started because he said we should keep the whole Ogapon thing a secret. Yeah, in my opinion, that was kind of a dick move that you pulled. How's Oni Sister doing? I'll be honest, I've gone real fond of Oni Sister myself. Guess Kiki rubbed off on me a bit. Eh, she's doing fine. She's just getting prepared for season two. I mean three. Excuse me. Mm. I had a sandwich before I started recording season three. I don't have Oni sister on me, but let's battle. Hey, what the swirl? She wants Ogapon on the team. Okay, fine. I guess we could get a little preview of Oni sister. Whoa, look at those stats. You definitely need some IV training. Let me just give you one of these. Give you one of these. You know what? Let's make you a water type just because we need something to cover that grass typeness. I think fire is a little bit overrated on our team. <gasps> oh, it's so freaking cute. Alter your stats a bit. Change up your moveset. And with that, Oni sister is ready. Now let's fight. Right, let's get into our positions. You'll be our final battle for season two. 
Well, at least until we got to capture some legendaries. Oh, you even have a new battle theme. Hit me with your best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? First things first, I want to set up a grassy terrain. Then I'm going to set up a leech seed. And next thing you know, Oni Sister's going to heal like a mother. So every time I use wood hammer, she's not going to lose at all. Let me just... There we go. Oh, hey, hey, at least give Oni Sister a chance. My swells, don't make me to rationalize, I will. Let me just max potion Oni Sister up. Okay, I am definitely going to be working on your stats off screen. So until then, don the mask and fight back! Hey, what the hell? It doesn't even do the spinny thing! <laughs> Go to horny jail. Let me just... Again. Hey, what the hell? Hey, hey, don't do that to Oni, sister! What the hell? How could you? How dare, dare you harm the beam? beam. You, you will pay for your sins! Masquerade. Take it, ass. That should teach you to never mess with Odie's sister. You should be sent to the depths of hell as well. You should be sent to the depths of hell as well. Yo, Barry will not protect you from this ass whooping. Hope you enjoy the last meal! You should also be sent to the depths of hell. Give me a moment, it might be a while. You bi- How dare you disable Dragon Claw? Go to the depths of hell! You will go to the depths of hell, AND YOU ARE GOING TO LIKE IT! Thank you! Accept your fate! Oh, my swells. This is what happens when you kill Odie's sister. You were in a perfectly good moment. Ah, I lost, but I'm also not surprised. You and Ogre Paul really do get along, don't you? It's almost making me jealous. Yes, indeed, because it's a wholesome bean. I actually, uh, sheesh, this is really awkward to tell you, but no, I'm sorry. I'm not looking to date. What's going on? Is it time to go already? Yeah, it's time to go. Come on, little bee, let's go. But first things first, Ogopon, I am putting you back in the PC. But not just any box. You don't go to the box of legends. You go to the season three team. There was just one more Pokemon that I want to capture that I desperately want on the season three team. And the rest of the three Pokemon will be catching in the season three DLC. But until then, we just, you know, just say goodbye to Oni's sister because you won't be seeing her for the rest of the series. Well, I mean, there is season three, but, but, but y'all know what I mean. I'm guessing Kiki still is too salty to join us in this final ceremony. Alright, that's fine. Let him, uh, let's let him let it all out. He'll, he'll come out eventually. Oh, yes. Thank you all for coming to Katakami. I've been told that our student pairs have finished all the shine boards here. Which means your shelf guide tour is at an end. Easiest task of my freaking life. On that note, I got a little gift for each of you. Um, uh, thanks for the mochi, man. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. You're quite the prodigies. Our visitor from Paldea still has a heap of time left to enjoy Katakame all has to offer. So continue to explore yourselves and make yourself at home. However, however what? I'm sorry to suddenly spring this on you, but the blueberry carry and I need to return to the Unova region. Wait, 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 what? But, but why? Again, truly sorry, but there's been some developments concerning the great crater of Paldea. I'm afraid we really must be heading back. I realize, uh, oh. Okay. Um. I, I guess that's a story that we'll see in Season 3 of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now then, Carmine, I believe you have something you wanted to say. Yes. Unfortunately, my brother's not feeling well, so it's just me here to speak things up. Anyways, as you all know, this village is where I was born. And, I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. Yikes, man, that's a little bit of a cold shoulder, not gonna lie. It felt like our home was returned to a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. But then we spent some time together. An interview with the way I imagine you all be at all. You were all really nice once I actually talked to you. I should have been so quick to judge people that I didn't know about. So, what I guess I'm trying to say is, I had fun. 
thank you all so much for visiting our village. Hey, no problem. Thanks for being me to the land of Katakami. Especially me. Yes, because I'm the main character and we had a great adventure coming to save Oni's sister from the rebellion that is the Lousy Three. I mean, it's not like this is goodbye forever. Ruby and Carrie are tons of strong trainers. You better come visit soon. You betcha. I'll see you in season three. But until then, stay strong, will ya? And tell Kiki, if I encounter him again, I'm coming for him next. <laughs> I am looking forward to season three. But until then, our adventure here has only begun. Don't go anywhere, D don't go anywhere. We still got a ton of things to do here in Katakabi. We gotta find the Lord Three of Dawn, and I heard rumors of an old friend of mine being here. I need to become stronger, stronger. I need to become a lot stronger. Nah. <sighs> hey, I like that pose. Stronger, stronger, and stronger, and stronger. We can go see the old home. Folks call the dreaded dead. I wanna see it. I wanna see it. Now I really can't tell if he can be met the only. Treated me like an outcast. You wait and met the only. Just you wait, Mr. Galaxy. Just you wait. Take the L! Soon, the Oni will be mine. And I will have my revenge! Haircut guy! Barbara, please help me get this peach off my head! Ah, that's much better. Oh yeah, I gotta take all this off too! Ah, that's much better. Good to be back in the Season 2 outfit. Now let's go back to the land of Katakami. We need to capture the loyalty of Dawn. Oh. How fitting. <laughs> this was unscripted, but but the, I was just about to end the skit there. I was about to do my intro. It started me. This is, this is perfect. I think the local crack. Yeah, there's the crackhead. No, not you. You're not the crackhead. There. There's the crackhead. There you are. How's it going, Monkey Doy? I don't know why you suckers had my voices in the last two episodes, but it appears to be gone now, right? Right? Okay, good. The curse is lifted. It feels so good to capture legends in a Pokemon game again. I mean, technically, I haven't done this since Pokemon Legends Arceus. They haven't really put any secret legends in the game, and I know, I know they have. I have not gotten to them yet. I'm working on it. We'll do that as like the finale of season zero. If we could get this guy to, I think the next one might kill him. I want to get this thing to a red, but I might accidentally kill. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not, it's not like it's a shiny. I think this guy is shiny locked anyway. And uh, I, I saved before the fight, so. Let's go. <laughs> also, yeah, if you hear me coughing every now and then, uh, I got sick, so sorry. Oh boy, I I'm fine now. I'm over the sickness. I just gotta, Get the last bit of mucus out of my throat and I should be fine. Speaking of fine, what kind of ball do I want to capture this guy in? Let me try a, a dusk ball. I know it's not really sundown yet, but it's just getting to that nearby environment. Okay. Oh, okay. This might actually be a challenge to capture. Swells almighty! Did they finally brought back legendaries that are hard to catch? I have not seen that since Black and White 2. Because the legendaries in the last few games, they're like really easy to catch. You throw in one ball, two ball, three ball, done. 
Now it's become an absolute nightmare to capture the Wait, wait, wait. We gotta test it out with the Ultra Ball. You have to test it out with the Ultra Ball. The Ultra Ball is like the best ball to use to capture legendary Pokemon. Yeah, they made legendaries hard to capture again. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just gonna be a nightmare to capture this thing. I mean, eventually, I'm gonna have to stop talking, just show a montage of me throwing Pokeballs, and then eventually capture this thing. But we only got like two more legendaries to capture after this guy, so just get in the freaking ball, monkey doy! Oh, come on. I gotta say, I really like the music that they brought in for this DLC. It feels a lot like Yokai Watch. And hey, I ain't complaining about Yokai Watch because it's got a nice good old soundtrack. Like, give it, give it a listen to if you like some Japanese yet weird sounding music. Because, you know, Yokai Watch music is good. I use it like most of my videos. You know the, the boss things that we used like two episodes before? That was Yokai Watch music. I know. It was amazing, wasn't it? Each one of them were like the boss theme. I, I think you had like the normal boss theme. The burb had like the Yokai Watch 2 boss theme, and uh, the dog had like my favorite theme from Yokai Watch 3, the boss theme from that game. I can tell you guys were jamming to that theme. I can tell. I may not have seen the comments yet because the video has not come out, but I know you guys were jamming to it. <coughs> oh no! It's time for me to sh sit down, shut up, and just capture this monkeys. Oh, come on! I have never had a legendary take down at least two of my level 100 Pokemon before. These guys are jacked! Oh my swells! Three? What the hell, monkey doy? Finally! Oh my swells! Poison Psychic. Alright. Oh, my swells. I was legitimately about to be like, am I really gonna do this? How long is this gonna take? Oh, my swells. But hey, we got them. We got we got one of them. So that's all that's left is the name. Because I'm naming my legendaries from now on. You can you can thank Oni Sister for that, so there's only one thing I can name this thing. Hey, I've been making Dawn Brothers references since season one. It's not gonna stop till the end of this season. Nurse, please heal me up, nurse, please! I don't know why the camera was like this, but heal my Pokemon! Thank you! There sure are a lot of feathers around here. Which means only one thing. Fezzedipity is here. Am I on the wrong side of the mountain? No, I can't be. Where the hell is Fezzedipity? Seriously though, Fezzedipity, where the hell are you? I gotta capture you for a video! Come out, come out, wherever you are, Fezzedipity! Wasn't Fezzedipity somewhere on this mountain? Where the hell is she? Not gonna lie, I am this close to just finding a guy to figure out where she is, because I know she's around this mountain somewhere. I remember Fezzedipity going inside this cave. We jumped all the way down after actually running into a Pokemon, taking a nice vibe. We went out this cave, and then we saw- There it is! There's Fezzedipity! You know, I know I, this thing's a legendary bird, but I expected it to be a tad bigger. Like, the one that we saw in, like, the episodes where we fought the Loyal Three of Dawn, but... But that's just my opinion, cause... For a legendary bird, you're pretty small. And honestly, that's kind of pathetic when you really think about it. How many legendary birds are bigger than this thing? Tons. I can think of a few. Ho-Oh, Lugio, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Evotol, those guys are gigantic. You are just so freaking tiny. I wonder what a super effective move do against this guy. <sighs> Thank you, Chopscotch. Oh my swell, we were this close to killing it. That is exactly where I need to be. A perfect red spot. Alright, let's go. Oh, this one might be easier to catch. Oh, me and my big fat mouth. <coughs> Wait! <coughs> oh, it's a dude! Apologies, I thought Fezzedipity was a female. I didn't know if they add femboy Pokemon into their games now. Will a luxury ball work for you? No, it will not. I want to lower its HP, but it just used flatter on me twice. And I can only use Metal Claw now. And that thing's gonna one-shot Fezzedipity. I'm just gonna have to wait until it can roost again. Then I can Metal Claw it back to one HP. Under that, I could just start chucking balls just to hope I get lucky. Not that lucky. Stop using flatter on me. Oh, it's doing it again. Finally, finally, it's doing it again. Okay, now we can use Metal Claw. Now we can use Metal Claw. Now we can get- Chopscotch, please. Chopscotch, 
Chops got yet yeah, no. Oh no! I could use a full restore, but where's the entertainment in that? <sighs> Wait a minute. Flatter raises your special attack. Chop Scotch. I understand now. I'm gonna switch into Demon Etna. I like Demon Etna. Just hit it with a side beam one time. That's fine. We can go with that, but we might need to attack it again. Yes! No! This bird is so freaking annoying! I'm sorry for making fun of you at the beginning of this- Oh no! Round two, here we go. Go ahead, do the thing. Yeah, just- this bird up. Bird up. Ah! Oh my swells! Finally! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> In galaxies, you want to see how long that took to capture? This legendary took nearly 20 minutes! This thing was more stubborn than the actual Kiji brother from Dawn Brothers. Get into the box right now. Oh my swells. Add that thing to the inventory. Save my game. Shove my nuts off. All that's left is just one more. The doggo! If Pheasant Dippity was that hard to capture, I should have saved him for last. But it doesn't matter now. All that's left is this boy right here. And we would have wrapped up our adventure here in Kitakami. Please! Okie dokie! Please be easy to capture! I am begging you, please! I really, really, really need you to get inside this ball. Like, I really need you to get inside this ball, please. Please, please be a good boy. Please be a good boy. Please. No! On the bright side, most of my moves aren't gonna be super effective against him anymore, so getting him into the red zone should be easy. And he doesn't have a healing move. Thank you, God. I think one more Metal Claw should get him into the red or still in the yellow. And if that's the case, that'd be good. This is perfect! The power of this Ultra Ball. I yeet it at you. Get in. Thank you. That was like the second try. What the hell? Finally, this dog's a good boy. And with that, that wraps up the last of the Dawn Brothers reference. And we have officially done everything we need to do here in the land of Kitakami. With that, we got them all. We got Saru Brother, we got Kiji Brother, and we got Inu Brother. All of the loyalty of Dawn have been captured. And in our inventory, which we would never use except for off-screen because this is my profile, I can do whatever the hell I want! But we all know that Oni's sister's like the best of the four, right? Of course she is. Look at that face. I would kill for that face. Something tells me that Growlite looks very familiar. And the same thing could be said to that hairstyle. I swear I've seen that shade of blue before. Something is very familiar with this. Long, long ago in the land formed from time and space. A paradox would evade the sacred ground of Hisui. The paradox was tasked by God itself to complete the task of befriending the Pokemon of the region so it may be worthy of returning home. During its travels, the paradox encountered a moon in the shape of a bear. The bear would come to the paradox aid no matter where they were at, sniffing out secrets from the ground below. But one day, the task was completed, and the paradox returned to its own time. While the other great guardians left, the bear, however, sat down and waited for its master's return. Day by day, night after night, it waited, and waited, and waited. But the paradox didn't come back. As the years passed on, the bear was covered in stone, created by its own wrath, waiting for the day it could encounter the paradox again. 
But now, thousands of years later, the paradox has returned in a new land unfamiliar to the both of them. And the moon, now covered in blood, will reunite with its hated master one last time. Oh, wait a second, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Well, that explains that that game gave me PTSD. Whoa! No! I was smarter than too early! Whoa! Wait, wait, wait! Ah. Okay, let's get this over with. Excuse me, miss. Uh, I hit my microphone, but are you from Pokemon Legends Arceus? Wait, no, 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 don't, don't say a thing. I wanna guess first. Uh, you're one of the students that came from the Paldea trip, right? Y yeah. H how did you know? A fucking school backpack. What do you think, Dumbo? The name's Perlin, by the way. I'm a traveler with a bare thing for photography. Oh, okay. And that's a ground. Oh, yes, the fluffy boy. The fluffy boy. <laughs> I remember that episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. That gave me trauma. Why did you take my. Stop. No flash photography unless you're making myself a thumbnail. 150 Pokemon? Are you kidding me? I have to do it again? I gotta capture 150 Pokemon again? I already did that for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Do I have to do it? I already did it again. Yes, I'm not joking. I did capture some Pokemon off screen in between episodes because I, I read this quest ahead of time and I want to be prepared for this and I did not want to be out be like, oh man, I gotta pause the episode. I gotta catch more Pokemon. But it was actually pretty easy to do. You just gotta capture some Pokemon and evolve some of them and even transfer some of them from your older profiles if you can. But uh, yeah, we have uh, 153 Pokemon. I had exactly 150 before I caught the lousy three. So this is actually works out well for me. Wow, that was fast. I mean, it's not that much. It's really easy to do around here. Especially if you're me. I got a favor to ask, you see. A real Pokemon catching photos like you is just what I need. Oh, uh, what kind of favor? Oh, did I tickle your curiosity? Glad you don't seem afraid to poke your head into a few things. That could be very much taken out of context. The reason I came here to Katakami was actually to find a certain Pokemon and photograph it. I've been searching my own for ages, but I still haven't found it. So kiddo, how about you do me a solid by helping me with my research? I'd owe you forever. Uh, okay. Sure, well, let's, let's do this. First things first, I'm gonna test your skills in a battle. You need to show me what you got? All right, bet. Are you kidding me? She's one number off from the funny number. We could have had a level 69 opponent here. Why? You are one number off! Leafeon's up next. All right, I'll just send in prototypes since this is like the final episode and we barely use this Paradox Pokemon. I kind of like that they played homage with Pokemon Legends Arceus with her using a Leafeon because that was one of the two clans leaders Pokemon and us catching 150 Pokemon because that's what we had to do to catch Arceus himself in that game. So this is a nice little throwback to me on like an earlier Let's Play series that I did. It's too bad that this Pokemon is kind of weak even though it took me two shots to do a super effective fire type fist punch on that Leafeon. That Leafeon is jacked! What the hell? Where did all the rain go? I think you might have what it takes to hold your own against the Blood Moon but the the, 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 the the what? Yeah. This is certain Ursa Luna I've been searching for. It is known as the Blood Moon Beast. Have you ever heard of Ursa Luna? Well, it is. They weren't all uncommon a long time ago. See, Ursa Luna is a Pokemon that usually has this big yellow mark on its forehead, resembling a full moon. But they say that this one's mark is red. A red moon. As if it's seen through a veil of blood. That's why they call it the Blood Moon Beast. That's, uh, kind of disturbing. This Esaluna, the Blood Moon Beast, used to live in my homeland way back when the people of Asui was still around. So it seems like it crossed a lot of us here to come to Katakami at some point and made itself comfy. Wait. Could it? No. 
Uh, there's no way it's the same as the Luna that we rode on all those years ago. N okay, I I I'm kind of interested though. I got I gotta research the thing more. It, 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 it just can't be the same as the Luna. I swear, if this is the same rider as the Luna that we rode on in Pokemon Legends Arceus, it's gonna be crazy to re-encounter that thing. I haven't touched that Pokemon game cartridge in like years. I mean, aside from like, uh, I think one or two times off screen, I was doing some with like the bonus quest and the DLC quests, which uh, by the way, uh, no, I'm not making a video on that. I'm gonna make like one more video. I've been playing on making like one more video of Pokemon Legends Arceus, and that is to get the orbs. The reason why I have not done it yet is because, well, I, I've been busy with, uh, with with this game. I've been busy with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, so, so maybe like a few days after this or a few weeks or maybe next year, I'll do like a Pokemon Legends Arceus anniversary episode where I just get some of the orbs. We'll call it, um... Uh, I don't freaking know. Maybe uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, no, end of Arceus. End of Pokemon Legends. Ar uh, you know what? I I'll think of something. I it would be like um, something to do with space, time, and the end of the Let's Play. Because we already did like both seasons of Rock in the End. And I already like uploaded like, a full season. So well, both, both of them I uploaded the full season. But... But, 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 you know, but, you know, I'll, I'll just upload this as, like, a, like a bonus episode. It's obviously gonna be canon to the Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play series that I did a long time ago because, you know, it's a video game. It's not really a series like Galaxy Skits, but, you know. It was just like a, like a little fun little bonus thing for me to do. So this is the Timeless Woods. This is apparently where this Blood Moon Ursa Luna lives. Ah, and there she is, right next to a... Uh, is, is that... is that a poly... what? Oh. <laughs> I see that the dance continues in season two. Excuse me, miss, uh, why are you taking a picture of, uh, of, you know, I'm just gonna keep watching. This is actually fun to watch. Hello, little doggy! So, uh, you just gotta deal with her taking a bunch of pictures while we're supposed to be looking for something terrifying. <sighs> it's okay, I understand, little doggo. Yeah, hi, <laughs> um, sorry to interrupt, but I hope you took a lot of pictures. Anyway. It's right around this part of the forest where we supposedly have been seen, the Blood Moon Beast. Curiously, all the signs here have been nights with heavy fog. Oh my swells, that is terrifying! I might use that in the thumbnail! In fact, I've heard all kinds of unusual Pokemon appear in foggy nights. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Ghost type Pokemon. Oh, it's just Spider-Man. Protect the doggo! Protect the floofy doggo! Ain't no one or nothing's gonna harm the doggo on my watch. Time to squish this spider! That was easy. Are you still taking photos? No. Aw, that's a cute little shame intent. <laughs> I should get something like that in real life. I mean, I don't go camping much, but it's still cute. Now, the Blood Moon Beast is way more wary than any ordinary Pokemon. That's why there has been a few sightings, or, you know, so they say. I'm gonna need you to have f f photographing po um, uh, okay. I'll just, um... I did not know that this was part of the side quest. I thought we unlocked that under the after the, uh, we get the Blood Moon Beast, but okay. I'm going to do like a little side thing. In the wild, we see nature on its most beautiful habitat. Truly a marvelous sight to be seen with animals cont- uh, wait, what do you mean? There's a hoot hoot there! All around us, animals fly through the sky and through the trees in the dead of night searching for some prey. Meanwhile, the Pokemon would stay hidden in trees, preferring to hide in the bushes to make sure it doesn't get ambushed by its predators. However, some are more fit in combat, and they're ready to blow no matter what to defend themselves from their predatory foes. However, some Pokemon tend to communicate in order to protect those who cannot protect themselves. And yet, they feel right at home. Yes, it's truly fascinating that love can take many forms. What a lovely sight to behold, as the next generation is about to be conceived. Of course, some Pokemon just like to vibe with their friend, even if they're taking a nap. However, 
Some Pokemon prefer to stay hidden in their homes, deep within the caves, while those whose shores have passed on still roam the world in search of peace. No matter what though, in all shapes and sizes, Pokemon are weird animals. Like the crackhead we saw like a few days ago. You know, the photos you took were all- they, they weren't that good. I could have gotten closer, but uh... Eh... They, they, they you know... I, I, could, I just could have done better. If I got in closer, they would have run away. I think my favorite one has to be like the Z- the C dots like vibing and stuff, and the Hatterings are surviving. Oh? Um... Did you... Did we find it? It's finally time for me to capture the Blood Moon Beast. On film, that is. If things start to look dicey, I'll be carrying on you to head on the battling partner. Oh yeah, sure, sure, I can do that, I can do that. Now then, let's get going. It's... quiet. A bit too quiet, if you ask me. So don't let your guard down. It could s just come out of Anywhere. It could come out of freaking nowhere. Uh oh! Are those... Footprints? Whatever was making them must be huge. Oh my swells! You're gigantic! What the hell happened to you, old friend? It's got a red moon on its forehead. It's... The Blood Moon Beast! It's real! We actually found it! Alright, my camera. Now, if you just be a good little beast and stay right there while I snap a photo... Uh-oh. Sorry, the auto flash just... Oh, no, that's not good. That is not good at all. What have you done? Yeah, you stay down, good boy. I'll fight this thing. Over here, big guy! Remember me? It's been a few years, but I'm back! Oh god, he remembers me. Also, yo, I, I just realized earlier I was playing Pokemon Legends Arceus music and doing it again with one of the battle themes. I love that they did this callback. It's so cool. Well, callback or not, I still gotta beat the living crap out of you. All my swells, it's tanky. It's a special attacker. What else is it using Combine for? So this thing must have had so much rage built up that it just switched from being a physical attacker to a special attacker. So it's gotta be a, like a psychic normal type, right? Maybe a dark psychic type? N no, no, it has to be uh, ground dark. I I'm betting ground dark. If it is a ground dark type, then a fighting type move might be the best match to hit this thing. Cause it'll have a four times weakness. All right, Wally, let's go out there. I just need to harass size with a sacred sword and we should oko this thing. Ah, uh, it feels so good to terrestrialize Wally one last time before this season is over. I, I, I don't know what I just dropped, but you ruined the mood! Yo, look, look at that W! I was right! I was right! This thing is a ground dark type! Blood Moon?! Oh, am I glad I turned into a fighting type. Come on, Wally, finish the job! Take one last W before season two ends! Go! Oh, I should have captured this thing. Huh. Should have. Oh, wait! Oh, now we can capture it! There's only one ball that I think will be perfect for this thing, and that's the Dusk Ball. Because in the dead of night, you always capture ghost Pokemon with this thing. And even though it's not a ghost Pokemon, it still needs to be in a perfect ball. Ah. <sighs> I miss that sound effect every time I call a Pokemon on Legends Arceus. 
Ground normal, so I was half right. As for what I name it, you either gotta wait till season two or get spoiled near the end of my show. You okay, partner? I I seriously didn't think you'd go toe to toe with the Blood Moon Beast, let alone catch it. You're the one who gave me the idea to capture this thing. I just couldn't stop snapping shots of you battling the Blood Moon Beast. Oh, I hope you got one with Wally to vascularization. That would be a good picture right there. I couldn't have done this without you, partner. Because of you. I finally feel like I have some photos here that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I felt this way. Seriously. And now that I'm all motivated, it's time to ride this feeling and seize the day. I'm heading back to the village this instant to get these hoes developed. <laughs> As we all say in my family, time wasted is lost, so I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's meet again in Mosa, okay? One last encounter before the season ends? Don't mind if I do. Hey, what's up? How did the pictures go? Oh, well, the fact is once I got them all printed out, I could see the photos I managed to get all blurry or cut off or out of focus. They really aren't that good to show anyone. No, oh, come on, they can't be that bad. But still, out of all the photos I've ever taken, I think they may be my favorites. I think I've gotten too caught up in my own head. Worry about farming or what other judges might say about always thinking about how to capture. <sighs> but I just. Capturing your subjects are just. You know, that's what photo should be. You taught me something important, partner. So thanks for that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, right. Your name. Uh, uh, you never asked my name. It's, it's, it's Mr. Galaxy. Mr. Galaxy. Honestly, I thought you would be called Slimy. I, that's one of my many names. What? It's a long story. Well, the nice to officially meet you, Mr. Galaxy. The name's Perlin. A photographer with a renewed love of photography. I can say that with pride now. Ha! Your reward. You earn yourself a real choice of reward. Oh, no. Please, though. This is a kid's channel. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Ha! <sighs> I forgot this was also a kid's game. Oh, and this grandma of mine has a younger brother that really loves battling. I think you do a better job of raising her good and strong. Oh, you're gonna give me the good boy? Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I'm gonna raise this crowd left to be very strong, okay? I'm gonna do that. I hope we meet you in season three, because if you aren't coming in season three, well then, I guess this is goodbye to Pokemon Legends Arceus one last time. You know what? I said I was just gonna bring three Pokemon from the last DLC to make uh, like half my team, but with this dog might coming back in like season three, I'm, I'm assuming, we might as well just level up and evolve it. I don't want to level it up too much. I think I'm gonna try to get to, uh, let's say level 55. That's good. Level 49, I can deal with. And we might as well get this dog into a legendary state since you're gonna be part of the main team next season. Yes! Rise! My legendary Volcano Doggo! Which is, you know, short, I mean, the long version of Volcago. Because. Yes. With that, we have our official team for next season. Right now, I'm not gonna touch them. I'm not gonna use them, except like off screen when I'm just gonna use Oni Sisters for like a few raids. But I will not be leveling them up at all. But I'm just gonna reveal their names to you guys right now since I have been keeping it a secret this entire time. So, first off, we have Mothra, who will be the new main character for the next season, who will be replacing Masquerade. And of course, we have Odie's sister. I have to bring Odie's sister an adorable little bean like this. Mm, you know I'm gonna bring her to the team. I have been modifying her stats a bit, so I'm trying to make her a lot more powerful because she's not really a special attacker, which is why her special attack is very low. But I'm trying to get her stats to be pretty good so I can use her in Wi-Fi battles and stuff for, like future streams. Next up, we just caught him today. It's Zomboost! I'm gonna modify his moveset a bit, but I'm gonna prioritize his special attacking. And finally, we have Volcago. I know I said I was just gonna be in like three members of the team. It was really just gonna be Zomboost, Oni Sister, and Mothra, but with Vokago, I might as well spice things up a bit. So look forward to seeing these guys in season three of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And speaking of that, that is gonna be it for today's episode. Did you guys enjoy season two? I know I did. It was very short. But then again, it is just the first half of the DLC. I cannot wait for the second half. And if they are releasing it with like improved graphics and stuff, please, Game Freak, fix your game. I think the frame rate issue gotten worse over this. 
Oh well, I'm gonna go make a review video and I'll see you guys next time. But until then, I'm Miss Gaz, Gaz the Cat, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, Mr. Team Shadow. Please never stay catty. Live life your own way. Stay safe through your entire times. I'll see you all in our castle. Until next time, for one last time in season three. I do, everybody.